Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Jose Carlos. Well, I am going to inform all the class that we are here. You have your visitor next to you. Yes. Yes, I have. She, okay. she likes to talk a lot. She likes to talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of my house. I, I don't know why, but you, you take, you pick up the toys and on the next second, it's a lot of toys on the, on the floor again. It's like, yes, my God. Yes. I think it is a constant, yes. it's a constant picking up of toys. It's like, my God. Yeah, all the time. But you are a princess right now. <laughs> you are the princess with the princess. Hello, Olguita. Hello, Olga. Good evening. Well, hello to all the rest of the students that are going to join in a second. <clears throat> well, my dear class, how was your day? Did you do a lot of special things? What did you do on your day? Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm very, very fine. I am very glad to hear that. Well, today it's a very nice day to continue learning. We are going to work a little bit on, on review. We're going to work a lot on vocabulary. We are going to review most of things. We're going to create sentences. We're going to do many things today. So Hopefully your friends are going to join the class in a second. And meanwhile, we're going to work and we're going to discuss a bit and I'm going to share my screen with you. Give me just a moment. I have a couple of questions here. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. I'm here. Good evening, good evening. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, in yes? Spanish, I le conté a mi hija. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 no cree. Teacher, no lo he encontrado. <laughs> mi casco para gato. Mándeme una foto, no mándeme una foto. Espérame, le voy a ir a hablar a mi hija. Porque ella no cree. Mi casco para gato. <laughs> sí. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tati. How are you? Ayer la extrañamos. Hola, Tati. Hello, Tati. I'm sorry, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, yesterday I was working, but I'm yeah. here. <laughs> you were, you were, yeah, I told the class that you sent me a message that you were working. <laughs> 
Ajá, Mr. Manuel ya fue a traer a su hija. No cree que no, Ay, es mi, mi venta de mi venta de cascos para gato. En la mañana, vaya, te presento a mi hija. Hola. Ay. Ay. Los, sí? los cascos. Ay. Teacher, I didn't fall in, 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 any, in any place. I, I am the only producer of the hats for oh, cats. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The hats for cats, you see? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Well, you. my dear, yesterday, Tatiana, we were creating products. If we were inventing products from things that we had at home, we were inventing different things for, for sale. And I invented the hats for cats. And um, the, Manuel uh, were, was uh, selling lamps, right? And many of them were selling. Diana was selling these little photo albums for, for special pictures. The little, a little yeah, album. And the little albums. Claudia it's was. Mini. It's mini. It's a mini album because a it mini. was just like, like this. Claudia was selling a multifunctional control that you can control everything with it. The doors, the TVs, everything. The life. The <laughs> ah, the perfume. <laughs> there was a person selling citronella perfume to yes. avoid to avoid people. <laughs> that was a very good group. And uh, there was uh, Danny Anthony selling cartoons of people, self portraits. That was a very good and interesting. Yeah, and the ah, the Christian was selling personalized cups, as you can see. I got one today, <laughs> a personalized cup. So the, it was a very interesting and um, interactive class. Yesterday we had a lot of activities there. So there you go. Oh my God, the bread. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, yes. question. Sorry. When I when I when I say how how many people or how much people? Permítanme que tengo un dinosaurio aquí. <laughs> okay, es como mi perrito es un poco chiquito, ¿verdad? Cuando Ay. ladra se oye en toda la colonia. <laughs> Okay, you say it's a big, it's a big dog. It's a big dog. It's like ah, a little okay. pony. Labrador? <laughs> no, it's Labrador? a boxer. A ah, boxer. <laughs> so no, when you say how many people, because it's plural. Many uh -huh. is for uh, for plural forms, and much uh -huh. in this case is for uh, uncountable things. For example, you say uh -huh. like how much water, how much rice, how much money do you have. Those that is for uncountable. Uh -huh. Saying many. In this case, is for plural. plurals, uh -huh. for in things that you can make plural and countable. Right? Yes. Ah, thank you, teacher. Okay, yes, in that case, it is like that. Well, my dear students, I hope your day was as fantastic as mine. Hey, there was a lot of rain today. Were you at home at the moment of the rain? Yes or no? Or you were on, on your work? Yes, yes, teacher. yes teacher. I work from home. <laughs> oh, well, you were working. Yeah, we, we got even uh, ice and everything falling from the sky. I had many years without seeing Granizo and I was like, what? <laughs> and, and I show it to my son and he was like, how is it possible that we have ice from the sky? And it's like, you see? <laughs> Yeah, they were, they were, uh, well, at least here near my house, we had these big pieces of ice falling. Then it was, it was very curious because I had many, many years without seeing it. But it was a very heavy storm. But yesterday too, teacher, because I hear it was like a, I don't know, like a rock in the in the roof. Yeah, in the roof. Yes, I mean it has been. I think one day we are going to get the snow, hopefully. I don't think. So. <laughs> hopefully, we're going to get snow one day. Well, so today we are. We have our class number twelve. And we're going to work a lot on vocabulary review and we're going to create some sentences and to develop some strategies and solve some problems, right? Remember our agreements, people. Uh, 
we need to attend classes all the time. We need to keep at least 80% of uh, attendance during classes. We are all, well, we're exactly in the middle of the program, right? We are exactly in the middle of the program. We are only two weeks away from the end. It, the time has just passed really fast. Morning. Yeah, when, when they told me, no, there are like 25 days of classes and all that. And I said, like, I felt that it was going to be a lot of time, but I said, like, well, that's cool. But the time has just uh, flown away from our hands yes, and teacher. we are just advancing. But the good thing is that vacations are coming. You are going to have vacations soon in a week. You're going to be on vacations. And um, for sure, later after vacation, we have another week of study, okay? You are not going to stay there in El Tunco, right? You need Easy. classes. You need to come back to classes. We have another week after vacations. So practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time because that's a, a main uh, request from this program that your camera has to be on during the two hours of classes. For sure, your microphone's off if you're not using it. We need to attend the session on time. I am sending you reminders like, hey, we're connected, we're here and everything. So please try to be on time. Participate as much as possible. Hey, keep a cooperative attitude. Help your friends on the WhatsApp group. Thank you for the ones who always share on the group and advance on the platform every day. And if you have any issue with the platform, remember you can come and tell us, right? As I told you today, it's our class number 12. And I have a couple of questions for you from one to four, being one, the lowest and five, the top, uh, the top uh, a number for this. So number one is the lowest and five is the top. I need you to read the sentences and to give a number to each of the situations, right? We are going to put, we're going to put here a number next to it so we can classify it. Okay, I'm going to make it smaller. I am going to, to write the number of each of them, right? We have Number one, and for sure, for sentence number one, you are going to write uh, being number one, the top, number five, no, sorry, number one, the lowest, number five, the top. What is your opinion about okay. these uh, situations that I am pointing up here? I need you to write your answer on your notebook, right? I have the first situation, doing business is fun. From one to five, what is your opinion? Starting your own company is a great way to become rich. From one to five, what is your opinion? Number three, business meetings are fun. From one to five, what do you think? If you do business, you should wear a business suit. From one to five, and what is your opinion? Number five, investing in the stock market is a great way to become rich. Number six, business should be taught as a subject in elementary school. Number seven, money can buy happiness. And the last one, business CEOs have very high salaries. Have very high, very high salaries. Let me just make it bigger here ah, i cut it out okay i am going to i am going to add the rest they have very high salaries is it okay that was the the next part of this one they have very high and i'm going to write it here let me add the end of the sentence Okay, and from one to five, you are going to give the answer. Okay, so these are the eight statements that I have in order to start the, um, the sharing and discussing of the day. So I need you to write your opinion 
in your notebook from one to five, what is the uh, punctuation that you are going to give and why? One is the lowest, five is the highest. And remember to support your opinion, right? Siempre que pongan una opinión, ustedes siempre acuérdense de poner el por qué. No solamente, sí, teacher, no, teacher. Why, teacher? Okay, you need to support your opinion. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to think. Yes, tell me. A, a statement. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, number eight is business CEOs have very high salaries. Is it okay? And from one to five. I have one. Two, three. My, my opinion for, for each one of these sentences. Yes, you have to say, for example, I am going to give you the first example. Doing business is fun. Um, I am going to give it a three because uh, for me, doing business is not that fun because it's something serious that you have to take uh, in a very serious way and in a very formal way. Maybe it's fun for the process, right? Or the, I don't know, the logistics and all this that people enjoy it. But I don't consider it as something fun. I consider it as something serious. So yes. That's my opinion. What is oh, your okay. opinion? So you have to give me the punctuation and the opinion. So it's a moment for you to practice your writing. Go ahead. Today is going to be for a lot of production. Hoy es un día de producir. Hoy vamos a producir el idioma en todos los aspectos. Go ahead. You, you love my timer, right, huh? <laughs> I have you there. Yeah. That's the I time only, that you I have only, for your exercise. I only know the, the number one. <laughs> Go on. I teach her one hour for the exercise. Yes, the two hours. <laughs> the two hours for eight sentences. Okay, I'm going to give you one, one more minute, okay? No, number two, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. The idea is that you take as much detail as okay. possible. Okay, yes. Right? Because I, I don't really, I appreciate when you participate in a very quick way. But mm -hmm. the most important thing is that it is organized, clear, 
and understandable. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you your time to develop. Is it clear all the vocabulary? If you have any question, tell me, okay? Si hay alguien que tiene alguna duda con alguna palabra, con alguna eh, frase, con algún vocabulario, pregunten. Siempre es importante preguntar. Tau, ¿Saben? I have, I have a question. Number yes? six, tau. Business to be talk, talks. Okay, I am a teacher. I teach classes. What is the past tense of teach? Ah, oh, okay. Thought. Claudita? What is your question? What is a stock market? Very good question, right? Many, maybe some others were like, Ay, yo tampoco sabía. <laughs> but you need to ask. A stock market is, a, for example, um, when you do these investments on a, la bolsa de valores in the stock market that you say like, I, I am going, idea. I, I, so you see, when you say like, I am going to buy Bitcoin, for example. I am going to buy uh, Teras, I am going to buy Shivas, I am going to buy any of these things or uh, uh, any action from, from any company. So that is the stock market. Any other question? The CEO is like the top manager of a company. It's like the boss and the CEOs. Okay, I don't know, Nelson, any question? Mr. Nelson, preguntas, Danny, preguntas? Uh, number one is um, very funny because uh, uh, Biden and uh, that happy, but the problem uh, the risk in, in the process. The risk, right? The risk mm -hmm. is the not risk. funny anymore, right? Did you finish all of them? Ya terminaste todas las ocho, Danny? No, no. No, no. For, hurry up, hurry up. Mr. Nelson, alguna pregunta? Vocabulario, no? Sorry, eh... I know the standard in the, in, uh, in the number. Sorry, Nelson. Es que se me, se me quedó la conexión a media, si no le comprendí la idea. Okay. I don't know the standard, uh, la parte de los números que lleva lo que ah, la Ah, okay, okay. Son. Okay, the numbers is the punctuation. Esa es como la puntuación que le da. Del 1 al 5. El 1 es el menor y el 5 es el mayor. Por mm, ejemplo, en el, sí. el al statement, doing business is fun. Y usted dice, no, eso no es divertido para nada. Man. Uno. Si usted dice, sí, sí es chivo, me gusta, es eh, divertidísimo, me llega a hacer business. 5. Ah, ok. 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 Thank you. Ok. Después de la puntuación, obviamente, tiene que decirme por qué. Ok. Ok. Let me see. For the rest of you, uh, Rosita, question. Yes, teacher. <laughs> I uh -huh. almost entered to the class. I don't know what. Oh, I'm hi, about. Rosy. Hi. Well, what we are doing is the following. I have eight statements, right? And from these eight statements, I need you to punctuate from one to five. Number one is the lowest. Number five is the top what you consider about the statements. It's tu opinion, okay? It, the first one says, doing business is fun. It's like, uh, no, it's not fun at all. I, I, I don't consider that something fun. 
number one or, or number two. Or if you consider that it's something interesting, nice, interactive, fun and everything, five. And you are going to tell me the reason why you give this punctuation to this statement, okay? So we are producing written language. And you are going to do the same with the others. Okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Go ahead. Normita, Silvia, questions? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. A Silvita, hoy no la veo, no le veo su cámara, ni a Normita tampoco. Teacher. Yes. Um, I was reading the question number six, or the statement number six, and if I say business should be told as a subject in elementary school, I think uh, learn about business could be a good idea, but I don't know uh, how to write in English uh, más productivo o más importante que otras materias, algo así. Uh, it is more productive. More productive. And, or you can say it is, um, it could have, a, it, would, it could be more important or more productive than teaching other subjects. Okay. So you say business, teaching business could be more relevant or more productive or more important than teaching other subjects. Okay, if I say, uh, I think learn about business could be more important than teaching another subject, it's than okay. Than teaching, okay. Than teaching okay. another okay. subject. Other subjects. Okay. Another is only one, other is okay. for plural. Other so you say, subjects. can you read the sentence again, I think? I think learn about business could be more important. I think learning about, learning about okay. could be more important or more relevant because all the things are important in life, right? But more relevant. For example, seminario, for example. I remember that I received yes. that subject and I don't remember anything about it. Teacher. Yes? What do you say? Tratar. Try. Refer, Try. Refer, uh, for example, the opinion of of the other person. Okay. Give, give me happen. the complete idea. Okay. Uh, for example, in the number four, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm writing a tweet uh, where a uh, uh, a specific trip is not important. Uh, the more for me, the, the, the most important is the form to to see the people, to understand them and, and, and treat the, them. The treat. Okay, the oh, treat okay. treatment, you say. Okay. 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 Wearing yeah. a specific suit is not that, that important at okay. the moment yeah. of business. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, this is the correct word, yes. I'm going Thank to you. send it on the chat. Okay. For the number four teacher. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I, I don't I don't really worry that much about how much time is it going to take, but how good and meaningful is the exercise for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I, I send your idea on the chat, Mr. Manuel. Thank you. Momento, the traductor, at the moment. The moment, the moment.
Normita en la coster no lleva. Ya escuchaste. Oh my God. Keep the same. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry, Norma. Su seguridad primero. Niña, métanos a la cartera. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Sorry. Could you explain me the number six? Please. Number, number six. Yeah. Ok. Business should be thought as a subject in elementary school. Ok. In, in the school, in the normal school that you go from first grade to sixth or seventh grade, you study science, social studies, Spanish, and all these things. But you never, you never learn about business, right? No hay una materia que se enseñe en realidad de negocio, de manejo, de finanza, ni en chiquito, right? And so the idea is like business should be taught as a subject in elementary school. Se debería de incluir esto de los negocios como parte del aprendizaje en las escuelas. As, as a basic subject. As a basic subject. In the because, process. Because okay. later on, we are having issues with debts and with money and with everything. And it is because we never learn about it. Or maybe we learn about it, but we don't want to put it into practice. Teacher, what is yeah? the meaning hey, thank of? You. What is the meaning of? Cool. Elementary school is educación básica. Elementary ah. is básico. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for example, in, in China and in Japan, uh, the little kids learn about all these things before mm -hmm. other things. And they say, for example, that, uh, well, in Japan, I think there are many schools that they don't study subjects up to fifth or fourth grade. Hasta el quinto o el, el cuarto o el quinto grado empiezan ya con materias en sí. Los primeros años son para cuestiones básicas de vida. Limpieza, orden, eh, manejo, des desarrollo personal, etc. It's a very cool thing. Okay, Jose Carlos, did you finish all of them? Yeah, I believe, teacher. I believe you say. Okay, give me your example for number one. What do you think? Okay, well, um, I I give the number three, three punctuation. Uh -huh. Because in my opinion, doing business sometimes is fun, but another time maybe it's difficult, teacher. <laughs> because you have to study a lot about your target market because my taste is not the same taste from the whole world, right? Definitely. So I have to learn my target market. However, I believe that it's funny because maybe you can become rich, but so, so for me it's three. The it's a number two. three. Okay, doing business, if it is on your benefit, it might be fun. But if it is a risk for you, uh, it's not going to be that fun. Let's yeah. see. Uh, Tatiana, what do you think of number one? Uh, teacher, for me, doing business uh, is really fun because, well, I have been working on sales uh, for, for many years. And I think it's very nice when you have the combining power to to sell something and i think it's it's fun for me it's number five okay it's a number five for you what about you uh, linda yvette what do you think i think if if you enjoy that that work that you do and is your work too I think is number one I think mm, it's fun 
It's fun. it's fun. So it will be a number five. If you enjoy it, it's number five. Sorry. We, it's Sorry. a five. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's a five. If you enjoy it. Okay. Who doesn't like making business? ¿Quién es así de? Ay, no. No, that's not for me. Me. <laughs> okay, Rosie, me. tell me. Tell me about it. What is your opinion on number one? Uh, on number one, I found it like uh, three. Okay, uh -huh. Oh, Diana, Diana. And then ah, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Continue, continue. I have Diana and Rosie. Go ahead. Okay. I write it's not something I'm good at it. So for me, it's not fun. But I believe that... If you know to do business, and you can do a, a great things. But I get really nervous when I have to do some business. So when you have to sell something, me. you have you get nervous. <laughs> yes. Okay. So for you, it's a one. It's a a two. A two. Okay. So for you, it's a two. That it's like eh, not something good for me. Thank you, Dianita. Thank you, eh, Rosa. Tell me. For me, it's number one. I think that is very stressful thing <laughs> that I have to do because you have to find the best option for the person and you have to combine another to person. To convince. I'm sorry, convince to, uh, to the other person and I don't want to do that. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, it's no, like, I, don't I like know. It. <laughs> it's like, no, I know. I know that one. I don't want to. <laughs> Nelson, what do you think of number one and then Manuel? Sorry, number one, doing business is a fun. Uh, no, for me, number four. So uh, for you, it, it's fun. Uh -huh. uh, GBCALS is a, a place and important role. And roll it with the cost of the product and profit. Right. So it's a it's a good thing about like to be dependent of the customer, the profit, and everything. So it's fun, right? Yes. That it's attractive. Good. Yes. Mr. Manuel, tell me number one. Yes, teacher, sorry. Okay, number one. Uh -huh. it's a difficult answer, teacher. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, yeah, but, uh, but I, I consider it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's in the number... Number four. Number four. For you, it's a number yes. four. It's a mm -hmm. fun activity. Get ready yes. with number two, people. Uh -huh. Mr. Moran? Yes, um, because it's a new experience to do, to do something, something new. But it's, it's not tough. For me, because require an investment, um, consequently, consequently, is serious. That that wise, um, is 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 something serious. Okay, it's something involved, serious. Um, serious. Involve people, time. And money. Money, yes. Right. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think that if anything that involves money, it's kind of stressing, right? Because you need to handle it, you need to be careful with it, and you need to take care of it as well, yes. right? It but, is like, but it's, mm. it's funny. It is, it's funny also. Yeah. And mostly when you see the earnings, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Cuando mm -hmm. ven la ganancia, it's like the best part yeah, of that. It's like, the best part. That's the best part of everything. Yes. Yeah when when sure. when you see the money yes i have a question yes and uh, when you say what word is, is better to use when you say profit or when you say earnings well earnings is the actual money that you are getting and the profit is like uh, well it, it means almost the same but uh, in this case it's like profit is like beneficio monetario and earnings son las ganancias right so it, it will be like, depending on what you are talking about, but most of the, in most of the cases, when you are talking about business and everything, it's better to say the profit, the profit, but the profit in many of the cases too, is like what you are planning to get. It's like, yes. es lo que yo planeo tener. And earnings is what you actually have. 
Yeah, los earnings es lo que ya tengo, seguro. Okay. Okay. What has been the earning of this one? And then you, you get the money there. Ready. Okay, I am going to call the attendance people before anything else happens. Antes de que, de que nada suceda. Okay. And before we continue, because we need to discuss the other ones. Why need you to discuss the following questions? Quiero ver cómo estamos en esa producción escrita. Just give me one second. Let's see. Just let me find my list and we're going to go. Prepare with number two. Prepare with number two. Starting your own company, it's a great way to become rich. What do you think about it? Volunteers for number two? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Well, in my opinion, not all the company are rich with study. Mm -hmm. Maybe the owners receive good profits. Maybe, but I consider this studying in my case, um, for the market, for the situation, social situation in the in the place, I not consider to be rich when when I study my own uh, company. company. Yeah, and at the beginning, maybe at the moment you start the company, maybe you are not going to become rich. Yeah. You need some time, some time of setting, setting the, the, the place in the market Hello. and everything. Yes. yes and that's the reason most of the businesses uh, has the risk to fail. Exactly. They have the risk to fail. Claudia Maria, what do you think? I think um, number four. Most of the time is you became an entrepreneur because you want to make your wish come through and uh, and always is related to money. <laughs> yes, all the time. Everything is related to money, yeah. right? And I think um, when you are like, um, when you are struggling and when you work hard and when you persevere and when you work a lot on your dream, it becomes a big thing. But in some cases, you want just the money to come to you and it to depends. sit down. It depends, teacher. It depends the the, the type of, of, business. of service of business. Yes. Well, I, I always say it, yes. it, it sounds horrible, but the food and the death are always to be are, are always going to be a, a good uh, business. Food and death. <laughs> Because all yes. the, the funeral parlors are always necessary. And the yes. restaurants and the food places are always full. So Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. And I don't know if you know about the torta chowi. Uh-huh. Yeah. They, but they are near my job. I think he started he start with one a little the, the one one little car. Yes, and now they have, uh, I think, three or four places where they sell the, the torta chowi. And maybe he's not rich, but he has money, I think, because he has a, a, another places too. Yeah, he's or, opening places all the time. Yes, it, because it's like the choris. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about the choris, right? <laughs> we were talking about, well, you were not here yesterday, but we were I talking about like the, the choris. You don't, I like, don't it? like it? No, I don't like it. Oh, oh really? Well, no, I, 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 I like it at the beginning. I would like to, 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 to taste, uh, to taste uh, choris, choris tortas. I, I did one day. It's because there is one near my, my job place. Wow, okay. There is one I near Torta I saw one one place of these. Uh, I remember near to Plaza Mariachi. Ah, oh, yeah, there is one the near name, Plaza Como, Mariachi. For the famous name, what is the name? Trovador. Trovador Plaza. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but it is a very good business. So maybe at the beginning, if you start your business, you 
don't really think it's going to be very successful, but all of a sudden you become and you set your, your place in the market and for sure you are going to become famous one day. Let me call the attendance and we continue discussing, okay? Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. Carolina Jamilet. Ah, Carito was at the hospital because she has, she's very sick. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Ah, today is Tuesday. She enters late. Diana Elizabeth. Teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Humberto. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Mr. Jose Rodrigo. Not here today. Uh, Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present. María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel. Nelson Gavarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina, on the bus. Olga Marlene. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Rocío Verónica. Eh, Rosa Beatriz. Present teacher. Silvia Suleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Vilma Ivet. Eh, Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. Present. Danny Anthony. Mr. Danny Anthony. Hey, que se me hizo Danny. Se me acaba de desaparecer. Okay, so. Let's keep on discussing the rest of questions. So you have questions number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to discuss. I am going to divide the class in two different groups. Group number one is going to discuss questions three, four, and five. And group number two is going to discuss six, seven, and eight, okay? Group number one is going to discuss three, four, and five. And group number two is going to discuss six, seven, and eight, okay? So if you want, you can screenshot the questions. If you don't remember them, screenshot here. Screenshot the questions for you to go and remember which questions you're going to be dealing and working with, okay? So I am going to make two rooms only. And room number one is going to... Sorry. Three, four, five. <laughs> it's going to discuss three, four, and five. Teacher, my teacher, my dog is 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 little because he 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 like he like fire. Oh really? <laughs> Not important the, the, the size of dog. <gasps> Yeah, yes, my dog is no she's really? she's very nice and kind really? Ese mi chucho, creo que es un chucho chiquito en un cuerpo grande. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, i'm going to send you to the rooms i have group number one diana yvette juan manuel nelson norma and olga and group number okay. two claudia jose linda omar silvia and tatiana okay let's go to the rooms and discuss the questions that were assigned Go ahead.
Ok, Normita, si gusta me acepta la invitación para el grupo para que pueda escuchar lo que sus compañeros discutan. Hola, Normita. Sometimes we enjoy, enjoy when it happens or when are doing businesses. Uh, for example, uh, some people uh, have a meaning in a restaurant. For example, uh, taking their lunch or taking a dinner. For me, it's uh, one because it's uh, a serious thing. And always, uh, uh, see, uh, the problems or um, the solutions. Uh, so it's a serious thing. And time. Okay, for me, the number three is number one because uh, you have to see profit, losses, strategy, and to the company. Mm, no, it's fun for me. Okay, okay, good. Uh -huh. Who's missing? ¿Quién no falta de, de opinar? Okay, Diana, go ahead. Number three, right? Yes. Yes. Um, for me, it's a three. Um, when they talk about the topic and don't get distracted, it can be really productive. But because you are reviewing serious topics, it will not be fun. <laughs> Yeah, business meetings. Uh, sometimes when, well, I, I experience that every Monday in my workplace because we have these business meetings. When the boss is very happy about the results, the business meetings are cool. But when he's not very happy with the results of the week, he's very angry. And then so the meeting is very stressful and all that. And he's like, Natalie, what about the numbers? Natalie, what about this? Natalie, what about the students? Natalie, Natalie. And I'm like, Come on. <laughs> so it, it depends. It depends a lot on, on what's the mood of the boss. Yeah. What about question number four? Discuss question number four, and I am going to go and check the next group. Okay. Entrepreneur. <laughs> Uh -huh. In which question are you right now? Number five. Number five. Investing in the stock market is a great way to become rich. Number six. Sorry. Number six. Business should be thought as a subject. Yeah, that's number six is for you. Business should be thought as a subject in elementary school. Uh -huh. What do you think? I say number five. 
I tell them that definitely all the books of financial say that we have financial problem because we don't learn about it. In the other developed countries, they teach the children finance since they are very little. Yeah, indeed. Like, like you say. Yeah, in Japan, they learn about all these things and it is really admirable. I was doing a case study on, on, on education and they, they learn, I mean, all the kindergarten is for them to do this social uh, area of life. Then uh, they don't do homework or anything, but they learn how to clean, how to organize, how to cook. I mean, all these years are for social development. And then the first and the second year of, of school are for basic uh, living strategies, right? Como eh, hacer las cosas, como ordenarse, como organizarse, como interactuar, como desarrollarse personalmente. And then they study. So it's a very good, a very good thing. But here, yeah, well, the kids enjoy, definitely. The kids enjoy here in El Salvador. I mean, they, they go to kindergarten and they make fun there and everything. And now it is the contrary because uh, people go to kindergarten and they do presentations and all this. And it's like, el licenciado. <laughs> Because they do, they do these big things in kindergarten. Yeah. So, do you all? Would, what about what about the rest? Do you all agree that they should taught? They should be like they should receive this type of learning since the early years of life. Yes, teacher. Because. Uh, at this time, uh, the children only think about in just playing video games or something like that. And they have too much uh, technology, but they don't use for, for learn and other things. I think just look for games and, and things like that. And I think about business could be a more relevant that that's what I asked you. Exactly, right? Yes. And many, many children nowadays, they think that they need the latest game, the latest thing, the latest cell phone, the latest computer, but they don't really think about their future because I was asking one day to a group of students and I said like, what do you want to study in the future? What do you want to be in the future? And they told me, a YouTuber, a TikToker, and I was like, what I mean are, are those your expectations of life to become a uh, it's one of them told me uh, a streamer and I said what is that I mean explain me about it a streamer is the one who plays video games and, and goes live on YouTube and he's talking about what he's doing he describe like, how to how to how play, to play. And yes, I'm like, my son, my son did that, and I was okay. <laughs> exactly. I start to to teach him to how to cook, how to. And it's like, ay, mijo, no, no, de eso no vamos a vivir, mi amor. <laughs> and in some cases, they do because there are many kids on YouTube making a lot of money with that, and and they are just little human. And they do it, and it's like nice. I, I know a lot of TikTokers now that they make a lot of money just doing nothing. But I mean, that's not an expectation for you. Yo creo que Jose Carlos quiere a su hija profesional, ¿no? Tatiana yes. lo quiere profesional. I think I think everybody wants that for 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 the kids. So <laughs> we need to teach them about these general things. And the next question, I think it's. Uh, number seven, money can buy happiness. Yes or no? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't buy happiness, but it helps. It's here we have to be honest. Maybe it's not the happy, but the money uh, helps you to have a better life. So that means happy because you can you can help your family. You can buy special things or... I don't know. I just think is is to have a better life. It cannot buy happiness, but it helps. <laughs> <A lot>. yes. <laughs> it is the closest thing to that. 
it like I, I always make fun and, and they say like it doesn't buy happiness, but I, I would rather cry in the car <laughs> than in the bus. Ah. But but I prefer to cry in in, in <laughs> or over in, <laughs> in a Mercedes. In a Mercedes. <laughs> or well, at least not to not to cry in the coaster, right? That's the only thing. <laughs> And Teacher, I say, number five, I have no doubts about it. I have no doubts about it. And the last one, do you think that business CEOs deserve to get the big salaries that they get? Yes, for sure. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mostly if you are a CEO, yes, yes, yes. Que no Most, <laughs> More money, more money, you say. Okay, discuss the last one and I am going to go and check the last group. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, I am going to... Okay, students are coming back. Thank you. Hello, Suley. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Welcome back. Money cannot buy happiness, but it's very close to that. <laughs> what do you think about that one? that money can buy happiness? Uh, the seven. Uh -huh. mm, for me, not, but, but, can play, but can pay something that are necessary for your life, but not is a happiness. Yeah. Yeah, it can buy things to help you be happy. Well, I, it is very curious when a very rich person dies that, I mean, you don't take anything with you. So you have to do as much as you can with the money that you have and enjoy it with the people that you love. <laughs> I think it's the best. <laughs> so thank you very much for discussing your answers. I really like this exercise because it gives you the the um, it gives you the chance for you to actually um, express your ideas, develop your ideas on writing, and develop your ideas on speaking. It is a very good way to do it, right? So uh, we discussed the highlights of the day right at the beginning of the class, and yesterday we were talking about. Uh, the four PLs of logistics, right? And we were discussing a couple of uh, extra things that you have to consider at the moment of working with the PLs. And for sure, I, I took the attendance already. I have here a couple of words. I need you to tell me um, quick ideas or sentences using any word from the ones that I am showing. Go ahead. The one that comes to your mind. I have invest, money, boss, team, logistics, leader, management, right? Headquarters, shipping, and third party. Give me sentences or ideas that come to your mind. Go ahead, choose one and give me one. My boss told me today that I'm not going to have vacation. <gasps> really? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, you work for a call center, right? Yes. Ah, that's why. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know vacation there. No. But later on, you're going to have it, right? <laughs> you would have said that. No. Who's so, Dianita? My boss told me that I am not going to have vacation. So, good use of a sentence. Another example. Go ahead. Otro ejemplo. Cualquier palabra. And an example. The party teacher. The third party, huh? Third party. Uh, for example. Third party is a, a part of a part important in the 
logistics. An important part? An important part of the company's logistics. Very good job, right? A third party, it's a very important part of a company's logistics. Good, uh, very uh, good. Go ahead. Uh, the team is working in a new product. The team is working in a new product. Very good. Another example. A good, uh, a good boss is when a uh, leader. A good boss. A good boss. <laughs> a good boss. <laughs> A, a good, good a good is boss a is a good leader. A good boss is a good leader. ¿Qué estaba pensando en el bus? Norma, ¿dónde estás? <ríe> ya se bajó del bus. Normita. Hey, yeah. o sea, estaba pensando en Normita que venía en el bus con su teléfono y no la veo conectada. <ríe> ok, espero que se esté cambiando. <ríe> ok, se me perdió el teléfono. José Carlos, go ahead. Okay, if you are trying to invest money, be careful. If you are trying to invest money, be careful. Yeah. Very good. Another example. What I like my uh -huh. work because I earn money. I like my, my work because I earn money. Very good. Uh -huh. Mr. Juan de Dios, go ahead. Uh, the team goal, uh, get the goal for this month. Okay, they got the goals for this month. Good, very good. Yvette. I hope uh, being a good leader and not only a boss. Okay, I hope that I will be a good leader, not only a good boss. Good, Linda, Yvette. Creo que se me quedó trabajo su cámara, Linda. There you go. Oh, see. <laughs> Give me your example sentences. With any of the words. Con cualquiera de las palabras. Ah, no, está Normita conectada. Uh -huh. Linda y Beth. Linda. Creo que se me está quedando. I have one. Hey, there you go. Uh -huh. The, the freight from China it's very expensive. Okay, the freight from China is very expensive. Freight. Good. The freight, it's like el flete, el cargo. Very good. Yes, I had a I'm gonna say that the the el contrario que he dicho. <laughs> the shipping from China are very cheap. Shipping from China is very cheap, right? Yes, indeed. I think it is more expensive here. I mean, when, when you get it or on the mail say, here. Yes, or in the USA as well. Good. I think Manuel had a question. Yes. Mm. No? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the example, the, the last example, the freight from China mm -hmm. is really more cheaper. It's more cheap. cheap. No, you say yeah, more cheaper, no. Cheap es un adjetivo no, corto, no, entonces solo puede ser con R. It's cheaper. 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 It's cheaper than freight from USA. Freight from the USA, yes, indeed. It is, wow. it is indeed. Good, 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 my dear Jazz. You see, this is a very good exercise for you to create sentences and for you to get ideas. Yesterday, I asked you this question. What is a job that you wouldn't take? And uh, for this one, we're going to discuss it as a group, right? You're going to go back with your group. But in this case, you're going to discuss what is a job that you wouldn't take that you say like, I know, no, 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 no. Not even if they pay me to do this, I would do it. Okay. So think about it. Let's go back to the rooms and discuss with your group. A, uh, a job that you wouldn't take. Ay, Normita, ya está en casa. Qué bien.
Mr. Jose Rodrigo, did you receive my invitation to join the group? Okay. So yesterday I assigned students the following question. What is a job that you would not take? And for sure today they are going to get together and discuss a little bit about their answers. Let's go and check how they are doing. Work of a doctor in this country, it's not recognized as I should be. It's okay. not well paid and it's too much in demand uh, and has a lot of work now. No. So no, I will be not. Yes, I agree with your what your opinion. Yes. Thank you. And for me, what is a job that I wouldn't take? For example, there are many jobs, yes, but uh, that I would like to get someone like farmer, chauffeur, carpenter, etc. But there is a specific job that I wouldn't take. Uh, this is security guard. Yes. And what is the reason? Well, hopefully this one of job lower pay and the employees have an additional benefit besides the worker don't receive compensation for uh, working overtime or some extra hours. Um, in some cases, uh, also the employees rob a part of their sal salary. Um, the the trade deal with love or something with with death or something like that. Yes, the blood make me. I don't know how 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 do you say this made a smile? Yeah, see. Uh, well, it makes me dizzy. You say it makes me dizzy. It make make me dizzy when you are like ah. Oh, look, teacher, we are dizzy. We are talking about the I I I never. Work in a morgue, for example. But Claudia said she she was her dream when she was a teenager. Really? I, say, I told them that I like the program CSI. Oh, yeah, my husband so, loves that. <laughs> I really like that. Well, my my niece, for example, she dreamt about becoming a, a forensic doctor. And I said, like, no, but imagine it when you have to pick up people from the street and all that. It's like, <laughs> and she said, no, but it's cool. I think it's nice. But now, uh, thank God, she changed her mind and she's working on um, physiotherapy. And it's like something better, right? <laughs> For <Yeah. it. laughs> Imagine at night, teacher. I know. I know. And, and, and uh, touch the body. <laughs> I know. Maybe not. And Claudita, yes, I want it. <laughs> well, but it's really real. like that. It's it all real. it all depends. It all depends on 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 what you want to do. For example, I know many people who uh, would never imagine on um, becoming a teacher. For example, because they say, "No, I hate that. I hate that. I hate working with teenagers, with kids, and all that." And it's like. And it's it's nice. I say it's fantastic. It's cool. And I, eesh, I hate it. Many people hate numbers, and and there are others who love accounting and all these things. And it's like mm, maybe not right. So, what is another one? For example, Miguel, what is a job that you wouldn't take? Uh, Hi, we are talking about the jobs that you would never do. Que trabajo yes. nunca haría. Eh, que nunca haría en un trabajo. No, no, no. <laughs> que trabajo fuera el que usted nunca tomaría. Por ejemplo, Linda dice que el forense. Mm -mm. 
Tatiana tampoco, but Claudia likes it. It's like yay. Eh, I'm a sepulturero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to bury people. Yeah, I, I think I wouldn't like it either. Jose Carlos, which one is the one that you wouldn't do? Work in a hospital teacher. I remember when my sister was looking for a career. So mm -hmm. she said, I just, I just want to be a nurse. And it was with that, with that, and with that. And so we we talked with a friend that worked in the, the hospital. And he invited us to watch many things in the hospital. And that was very <laughs> awful. My sister said, no, man. No, man. I want to try with another one. Thank you, but no thank you. She's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like yeah it, it, it all uniform. depends it all depends right yeah the uniform and everything she said that's cool but they are not <laughs> so she decided for another career and now imagine with the pandemic all the things that they had to go through it's like oh all the all the people with the, the who got infected and all that i know you uh, hello, Marlene. We're talking about the jobs that you will never do in your life. And I am missing to listen to uh, Silvia and Omar. Hey, for me, I, I will not be a doctor, psychology, um, as a two true truck driver. A uh, truck driver, yeah. No. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that either. Yes. And Silvita. In my case is um medical a forensic doctor. Ah, the forensic doctor, so you wouldn't do it. Well, yes. my dear class, let's listen to Marlene and uh, we're going to go back to the main session. Marlene, share your idea, please. I don't I don't remember, but they use a car that they uh, are in on the air uh, mm -hmm. working. Um, so I think uh, they study uh, the subject are very difficult. Okay. To, to understand the flu, fluid, electric mm -hmm. yes. fluid. Yes, it's, a, it's an extensive study for this type of, of job. Of job. Yeah. Job. Yeah. It's very, oh. very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting to, to, to manage or um to have skill for this type of of work very exactly. very interesting but but is also dangerous yeah electrician yeah. will be a job that i will never do yes i am yes. always afraid of of electrical things <laughs> with a battery with a little battery me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> with a little battery, <laughs> with a little battery, I mean, you yeah. can you can get uh, like electrocuted. It's like, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> I better yeah. I better stay away. Okay, uh, students, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, just in a very quick way to see the ones that I have right here. What is your dream job? Hello, hello, Rocio, welcome. Christian, hello. welcome. Thank you. Okay, what is your dream job, people? No? I will share mine and it's kind of funny, but I, I want to do it one day. I want okay. to be I want to be a vet. <laughs> a veterinarian. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that that's my dream job. And I, I hope hmm. that I, I could I could do it one day. And also I have two. 
I want to be a veterinarian and I want to be the one that works at the airport announcing the flights. Okay. For <laughs> that, me, for me uh, I couldn't be a veterinarian. No, neither could I. Because uh, I cried when I when I saw a cat or a yeah. dog. A cat yeah. or dog. Oh, I'm sorry, a cat or dog. A cat or a dog. When they, when they cry, when they die. When they die. Yeah. yeah. I, I was I was about to enter to study veterinarian, and I remember that I had a fish, and uh, fish. the fish. Uh, I was just touching the fish, and he died on my hand. He just went on my hand and he died there. <laughs> and okay. I spent like a week <laughs> traumatized because of that. And I was like, and, and my father, my father is an agronomist. And, and I mean, he's an expert on animals, but he was just like, he was just making fun of me because I was traumatized for more than a week because the fish just swam to my hand and he died there and i was like what <laughs> so my father told me maybe maybe you are not good for veterinarian so what is for your dream cat. job yeah <laughs> not for, for any animal for dog? yes i cry no, i cry i, I cry i cry for any animal let's see uh, tatiana what is your dream job uh, teacher i well my dream job it was being a flying attendant. A flight attendant. It's never late to do that. Don't worry. Christian? Good evening. Uh, my dream job also is also being a flight attendant. <laughs> yes. Excuse yeah. me, a flight attendant, what is the meaning? I'm sorry. A, fly, a flight attendant is the one that, that is like, yeah, on the flights, on the planes, helping people and attending passengers. Aeromosa. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, I, I think okay. uh, yeah, I I'll think be... it's a good job because I I would like to Thank know a, a lot of countries and I think that that is a good way. Yeah, yeah, they, they, it's good. And now you have so, the best advantage because you are learning you a new language. Yeah. You don't have enough time for your family. <laughs> I will take them with me. That's true. <laughs> it's true because you travel all around the world. Diana, what is your dream job? Uh, my dream job, I hope so, I, I can make it, <laughs> is to be a recognized clinical psychologist. Ah, yeah, for sure you will do it. <laughs> Rocio, what is your dream job? I want to be a dancer. <laughs> a dancer! Love, yeah, yeah, because I love dance and I, I could imagine my life, uh, travel around the world and dancing to... Uh, you know the choreograph the choreographers. Okay. I don't know if, if uh, choreography. Doing, chore uh, doing choreography for famous people. Hey, nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very uh, nice idea. Jose yeah, Carlos, I, uh, <laughs> you like it? That's cool. What is your dream job, Jose Carlos? The microphone is off. Become a consul teacher. Hey, nice a future yes, console yeah that's that's, that's cool it's, it's an interesting thing and you can do it for sure if you continue working and yes. doing your best effort you can do it great <laughs> Juan de Dios what is your dream job um for me is uh, become a manager for my own businesses. Hey, a manager. For sure you will do it. Definitely. Olguita, what is your dream job? Olga Marlene. Teacher, for me, maybe it's a strange dream, but not impossible. I think. Uh, travel the world. To travel mm -hmm. around the world. To travel mm -hmm. around the world. An people. Another fly attendant. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that makes four of us here. No, but just to to travel, right? To travel yes. around the world. Travel around the world. Hey, that's so meet, fantastic. Meet and meet people and write histories of extra extraordinary lives, and that are example of overcoming. 
Wow, hey, well, mostly you want to become a writer. <laughs> nice, what a beautiful thing. What yes. a beautiful dream, nice. But you can start with the ones that you are living now and then you can start growing your books. Mm -hmm. Look at yes. Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. She started in a cafeteria. So you can do it. Mr. Yes. Nelson, what is your dream job? Hello. <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, in my dream is to award a, a computer engineer. A computer engineer. Yes, hey, you can in, do it. You know, here in here. Asawa, uh -huh. and video serving camera system. Hey, you know, Mr. Nelson in Saforp has also <laughs> courses oh. on software development. Yes. Oh. Go ahead, you can do it, Nelson. Nice. Hay, hay muchos, hay muchos cursos en Insaforp acerca de desarrollo de computadoras, desarrollo web, desarrollo eh, de sistemas. Así que también hay que aprovechar esos cursos, Nelson. Oh, very good. Great, Norma. What is your dream job? My own um, bakery teacher. Your own bakery. You know, Diana yes. has uh, an alliance with Super Selectos. <laughs> <laughs> so you can send the the cakes there. Hey, your own bakery. But do you do you prepare cakes and stuff? Yes, I like it. I like to cook um the location and my neighbor with teacher. Oh, nervous <laughs> place. Let, let's go, let's go and look for Norma <laughs> to buy some cupcakes there. Yvette, yes. what is your dream job? Um me too, uh, a baker. Another, hey, make an alliance. Ya ve, emprendedurismo, ahí, hagamos una asociación. Mr. Miguel, what is your dream job? My case, uh, uh, my dream job is to be a ranger. To be a? Ranger. A, a what? Ranger. A ranger. Power Ranger. No, a Power Ranger no. ¿A, ¿A qué se refiere, Miguel? Perdón, es que no le alcanzo a escuchar bien. Guardabosque. Ah, un guardabosque. Ah, hey. What a nice thing. Do you like nature a lot? ¿Le gusta mucho la naturaleza? I like taking care of animals. Ah, oh, oh, what a beautiful way. That, that would be a very beautiful job. I mean, to be in touch of nature, to be taking care of animals, of forests and stuff. Well, be yeah. careful with Yogi. <laughs> Yogi the bird. That's pretty awesome, Miguel. What a beautiful dream. I really like it. Mr. Omar, what is your dream job? And Silvia. And I don't know if I'm missing someone else. Claudia Maria. Uh... My job is a final analyst. Financial analyst. Yes. No. Well, that's another one that you can do it. I mean, if you continue working and studying, you can make it. Fantastic. Nice. Oh, nice, nice, Omar. Silvia. Uh, my dream job is an uh, architect. An architect. Another one that you can still make yes. it. Fantastic. An architect. <laughs> Claudia Maria. I want to be a writer. A writer. Hey, make an alliance there with Olga. <laughs> and then you can write books and, and, and write one about our class. And who am I missing? Jose Rodrigo? Good evening. What is your dream job? Uh, my dream job is to work as a lawyer. A lawyer? Well, yes. I study a lot. Do you like reading? Yes. No, that's why. So that's very important. Yes. Well, am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien que no le pregunté. Okay, Mr. Me? Manuel, what is your dream job? And Rosa Beatriz. Teacher, I am extremely passionate about the uh, work in cruise ship. In what? Cruise ship. What is that? In crucero. Ah, in a cruise. In a my cruise, cruise, cruise. it's a cruise. Hey, my God, I, I, I am, I am very curious about the cruise, but I am a, kind of afraid at the same time. 
and not because of Titanic, right? Not because of that, but <laughs> I, I don't know. I have seen so many things on the ocean and all this that I don't know. But they, when I see the cruise in, in, in all these elegant the things that they have, yeah. my God. So very interesting. Whenever you go, get a special offers for us, okay? I know how to say a todos. Yes. <laughs> and let's see. Thank you. Hey, what a nice idea. And Rosa, tell me. Uh, my dream job is be an ambassador. An ambassador? Oh, work for United Nations. Sorry. Oh, for the United Nations. Hey, being an ambassador. That's pretty awesome because you have this challenge in your life that you go and talk about your country in other countries. So it, it is a, it's a very nice thing. So keep on working because the job, uh, the dreams are there, but we need to work a lot in order to achieve them. Well, my dear class, very nice. I really like uh, this sharing moment because I'm far from getting to know you in an uh, educational environment, I know you as a person, right? Más allá de conocerlos y sus necesidades educativas, los conozco como persona, y eso me gusta un montón. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Well, I have a couple of challenges here, and this is a moment for you to analyze and think. So I have here three questions, and I have a lot of options for each question. And uh, I have question number one. Cristia, can you help me to read question number one? When people advertise products, they want to? They want to buy them, sell them, export them, or use them? Sell them. Sell them. Buy them? They want to? Sell, sell them. Buy them. Sell them. Buy them. <laughs> <laughs> buy them, sell, sell them. 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 <laughs> when people hey. advertise products, they want to sell imagine, them. Sell imagine them. if if sell I come them. and I say, sell hey, them. Hello, everybody. Here I bring the new cups, the new cups with the beautiful decorations. If you can see here, I have the new trends and styles. Ask for your cup now. So what sell am them. I? What am sell I trying them. to do? I am trying sell to. Them. To sell it. Trying to sell, sell them. I'm trying to sell them. So, sell them. It, it has a it has a picture here, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. My son gave it to me. <laughs> yeah. Mi mamá es 99% amor de esas. Y 1% de And it, it, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of stress. So I am trying to sell the product because I am advertising it. I am doing these commercial things for the products, right? I want to sell it. What about number two? Rocio Veronica, help me to read number two. An annual earnings, earnings, earnings uh -huh. report earnings. An annual earnings report can tell about a company's profits. During the past year, during the past month, during the past week or day. Why do you say year? Because it's annual. What about if the report is for the month? How is it called? Monthly. Monthly. Monthly report. What about if it is for the week? Weekly. Weekly report. And if it is for the day? Daily. 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 So you have yearly, monthly, weekly, daily, annual. Okay. Very good. And number three, Manuel, can you help me to read number three? In which of the following place can a person find cargo? Uh -huh. On the internet, in an employee's home, in an office, on a ship. In which In which of the following places can a paint, can a person find cargo? On the internet, on in an ship. employee's house, on a ship, on a, on a ship. ship, right? On a ship. What is a cargo? An extra cargo. <laughs> An extra cargo. Cargo con freight. Cargo con cargo. Transport. A cargo, a cargo is like the, 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 the well, where you are transporting, right? On a shipment, right? Yes. El, el, como los contenedores. You know, is, all this thing, is right? the, 
the goods on the a goods. container. Very good. The goods on a container. Very nice. So that it's cargo, you see. Very excellent. What about the next one? Number four, Juan de Dios. Aprovechando que tenía el micrófono abierto. Go ahead, read it. We saw the following word is most similar to consumers. Uh -huh. Manager, buyer, Manager, employee, buyer, employee, or, or seller. Buyer. 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 A buy, no, buyer, no, buyer, buyer. Buyer. <laughs> Number four, buyer, right? Buyer. A buyer. You buy, buyer, right? You teach, teacher, right? You sell, seller. The ER gives you the profession in this case. You manage, manager. You employ people, employer, right? Sell, seller. In this case, when you have consumer, it's a person who consumes and gets. It's a buyer. person who buys. Very good, a buyer. What about number five? Jose Carlos, help me. What does a business do when it earns money? Mm -hmm. It breaks even, it loses money, it makes money, or none of the above. It makes money. It makes money. It makes money. It makes Let money. It, right? make money. it makes money. Good. Very yeah. good. Right. It earns money. Right. It makes money. Sylvia, help me with number six. Which of the following thing does a business do when it expands? A. It opens it more op stores or offices. Uh huh. Read the options. Yes. Imports products, it closes the factory and it publishes an annual report. Uh -huh. So, it in this case, for, it opens more stores, it, it opens more, it opens more, stores, more stories or offices. or offices, right? Because it expands, it expands. expands yes. It imports products? No, right. It closes a factory. It would be the opposite, right? It, and it yes, publishes an annual report? No, right. It is much no, when, it, when it opens more. What about number seven? I am going to ask Claudia, please. Companies headquarters might be found on a business suite, in a warehouse, in an office building, inside a secretary's desk. Okay, a company's headquarters might be found on a business suit, in a warehouse, in an office building, or inside a secretary's desk. What is the meaning of headquarters? Huh. Google <laughs> moment, find it, <laughs> find it online. Ay, go on, yo los iba a mandar a hacer investigación ahorita. A headquarters. Five, four, three. I need the definitions. Three. In a full well set setting. <laughs> in an office no. building. In a main in, office. In a place main or building. Place or building. Hmm. Serving as a man. So in an office building. In an office building. What is the definition of headquarters? ¿Quién encontró ya? Vamos a ver. It's a place when the office are working. <laughs> yeah, I'm an center making of an enterprise. Okay, listen to Claudia. Claudia ya tiene la definición. The listen. Administrative center of an enterprise. Administrative center of an enterprise, right? La sede. Uh, that's the headquarters, right? And it can be found in an office building, right? In an office building. What about number eight? Number eight. Which of the following is most similar to a company logo? A picture. A picture. A picture. Picture. A picture, right? A picture. A picture. Picture. Because a song, a story, or a game is not related to the logo, no. right? The logo. What about the next one, Yvette? Can you help me read number nine? Merchandise is something that people can. Merchandise is something that people can. All the above. All of the above. Yes, letter D. Letter D, right? A merchandise. You can buy it, you can sell it, you can export it, you can import it, you can do many things with the merchandise. All of the above, right? You can do all these things with the merchandise. What about the next ones? I have another one. Number 10. 
Number 10 is going to be on Olga Merleni, please. Okay, teacher. If a business might makes a profit, we can say that it is in the black, it is in the red, it is bankrupt, it hires many people. Uh -huh. If a business uh, makes a profit, we can say that it hires, hires many people. people. It hires many people. Okay. Uh -huh. Are you sure? In the black. In the, in in the, the black. black. Yeah. What it's happens? Black. What happens but if a company is in red? They are, are losing money. They, they are they, losing they, money. They, they have lost the money. The company broke. <laughs> okay, it's in bankrupt, right? If a company is in bankrupt, it means that it is not in red. It means that it doesn't have anything, and uh, it hires many people. It's like contratan, but it's not yes. about profit, right? When you say that a business makes a profit, we can say that it is in the black, right? It, okay. it means that it's giving good numbers. Okay. Number 11. Thank you. And it's going to be for Diana, number 11. Okay. Which of the following words is most similar to a business proposal? Uh -huh. uh, the Option, question, suggestion, discussion, interruption. Which a one do you think? A suggestion, suggestion. right? Suggestion. A suggestion, because it is a proposal. It's an idea, yeah. right? It's an improvement that you are giving to the, okay. uh, to the company. Number 12. Number 12. Let's see, Mr. Miguel. Can you help me to read number 12? Yes. Uh, the following people in the company's high buyers, sellers, employees, employers. Uh huh. Which are the ones that the company hire? Buyers, employees. sellers, employees, or employers? Employers. Employees, employees right. right? You you hire employees. Yes. Because the employer is the one that is yes. going to hire you. Yes, right? yes. employee. I don't employer. Yes, employee. In this case, I think Diana is an employer, right? I'm so sorry. I got Diana. No. <laughs> don't, don't, you, don't, you, don't you give this process to people when you are trying to hire them? Uh, it's to promote them. Ah, okay. So uh, that's like, it's very similar, right? Employer, yes. it's el empleador. Employee, yes. es el empleado. Okay. Yes. And buyers is like vendedores. Uh, sellers is vendedores and buyers is compradores. The next one that we have here, number 13 and 14. Which of the following words is most similar to value? Money. Deal, make money. money or product? Money. 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 Right, money, because it's valuable. And the next one, it says, which of the following things can you probably find in a warehouse? All of the above. All the above. Merchandise, all, all, the above. Of food, all of the above, right? In a oh. warehouse, you can find all these oh, things yeah. and more, right? You can find all these things and many more. That is in a warehouse. Very good students, very good job on the review of vocabulary. Teacher, the attendance. I am going to do it right now because I have the section of the night, letters to my students. Oh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> have you seen this, this thing yeah. that it's like, Carta, Carta Mari? <laughs> this is letters yeah. to... Carta no, Julieta. No, really? Letters to my students. Whenever you listen to your name, sir, here or present, okay? I'm going to call the second attendant. Uh, Carito is sick. Claudia Maria? Present. Christian? Here, teacher. Diana? Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto? Jorge Humberto. Ay, Jorge, Jorge was, I think he was traveling to San Salvador today. Jose Carlos? Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo? 
Mr. José Rodrigo. Ahí lo tengo, pero no me escucha. José Rodrigo Hernández. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Linda. Manuel. Present teacher. Ok. Go. Eh, María Genoveva is not here. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa, Rosa Beatriz. Present. Ok. Uh, remember, Mr. Miguel Ángel hoy tiene su one on one, ok. Solo para que no nos okay. vayamos a ir antes de que se acabe la clase. Okay. Eh, Silvia Zuleima. Present teacher. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present teacher. Marlene Nicole. Marlene. Se me perdió Marlene. Omar Francisco. Present. And Danny Anthony. Dani también se me perdió. Mire que andaba vagando y de repente ya no lo veo. Teacher, okay. I'm bending. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Juan de Dios Mejía Rivas. Thank you very much. Uy, ¿qué pasó? ¿Cómo fue que se me pasó? <laughs> It's not possible. Ok. Before teacher. reading the letters of my students, yes, even. Can I leave? Because I have a headache. We are about to finish. We are about, about, about to finish. Antes de que le dejen ahí a media la asistencia. Okay. We are about to finish, Linda y Beth. We are missing only 10 minutes of the class. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Let's go over the reading. Okay. Letters to my students. And in this one, it says the following. Okay. Here we go. I am going to silence everybody. On this section, we're going to study a case. We're going to study a case of a person, and for sure, we're going to see what we can do in order to help this person, okay? So, in this letter, I have a situation here, right? I'm going to erase this one. And it says, dear teacher, not students, and this person writes a letter for my students. And it says, what is the situation? After saving up thousands of dollars for the past 10 years, I now have enough money to start my own business. I want to open a small bookshop near my home next year. However, I am quite nervous at quitting my job at a local library and investing so much money. I have heard that about 90% of new businesses fail within the first year of starting, which advice? Can you give me to make sure my business is a success? I don't want my bookshop to be one of the many businesses that go to bankrupt. What advice can you give to this person that is starting her own business, right? She is planning to do it, but she doesn't want to be a, one of the statistics, right? that she is going to invest and she's going to lose her money. What are some of the advice that you can give her in order to get a very successful bookstore? Here, we are going to go back to the groups and on the group, you're going to discuss what are some of the opinions or pieces of advice that you can give to uh, this person. In this case, what is the name of the person, people? Arnold, you are going to give to Arnold, right? What pieces of advice can you give Arnold in order to have a very successful business? Okay, so I'm going to give you around four or five minutes to discuss, write a couple of answers, right? En el grupo asignen a una persona que van a tomar las notas de los consejos que le van a dar y eh, cuando volvamos solo esa persona va a reportar, okay? So let's go back to the groups. And let's work. What advice can you give to this person? She has saved money, or he has saved money for 10 years. He is working, but he doesn't want to quit. 
because he is afraid of losing all his money when opening his new business. Write down your pieces of advice. Go ahead. Ok, ok. Normita, le digo la invitación. Ok, Norma, Rocío, le llegó la invitación para los grupos. Okay. I am just going to wait for Miss Norma to go to the groups and I'm going to go and check what students are doing as part of their groups. Eh, Normita, le llegó mi invitación. Okay, now I can go and check on the groups because Norma is already there as part of the teams, okay? Let's go and check. To make, to make, uh, to make a um, business plan. plan. What a is a better plan. idea? Make the business plan. <laughs> okay, a business plan, okay? Yes. Yes. To I think the, I think the other could be make a a, a, a bookstore. They can learn about it. Yeah. I like Jose Carlos was like, yeah. <laughs> well, like, yeah. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Lo que pasa es que cuando usted viene y ha dado todas mis ideas. Ay, 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 ay. ay. I can see Rocío, Verónica, or Omar, or Silvia, or Mr. Miguel. No los veo. ¿Qué pasó con esas cámaras? Ah. Oh, ay, ay, sí, ya los veo. Ay, ay, mis, la tenía al revés. ¿eh? No. It's turned on. No, time. but I, we cannot see you. We see everything in black. Ah, now we can see you. Ah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> but I but I'm watching me. Yeah, and no. I can't watch me. <laughs> you could watch yourself. Now I can see Zulay. Uh, I, yeah. I cannot see Omar. <laughs> okay, good, good. Yeah, uh, Finish your, your idea. Yeah. What do you what do you plan to recommend? Do you think it's a very good business here in El Salvador? She's planning to open a bookstore. Do you consider that it's a very good profitable business in your country? This I think point. I think it's a uh, it's good because I like to read, but <laughs> me for too. Other people, <laughs> but 
Many other they people don't, think so. yeah. don't like it. Discuss that point. Discuss that I, point. I like to read, but I prefer digital. The market. The advertising in the in the uh, in the paper new newspaper. In the newspaper. newspaper. Thank newspaper. you. Newspaper is the. Yeah, the, the periodic. Yes, and they sell me, and they sell 30, 35,000. Yes, 35, it's, it's expensive. In the second page. In the second page. Yes, but that is, this kind of policy is, is expensive. It's expensive okay, to okay. start. 35,000, okay. 35,000 okay. or 350,000. No, 35,000 valía. Salir en la segunda página del diario. Yes, yes. Because, uh, because uh, me. They told uh, me. They told me. They told me uh, it's better to to have a uh, understand in the uh, after Cisco. Me imagine. Twenty. Uh, Twenty. Twenty thousand. <laughs> no le pierde. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, really? I would put I would put a yes. sign on the street. It's a very, very expensive. Okay? Yes. It's very expensive. Yes. Most of most of yes. these these uh, also, I don't know the billboards. The billboards are very expensive. Also in the, in the TV shows are very expensive. A few years ago, I worked in a. Uh, a Canal 21, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, in the in 20, 21 channel. 21 <laughs> in cha well, in channel 21, you say. And if you want to get one minute, uh, the the cost uh, was 400 for one minute. Oh my my goodness. Y me entrevistaron de gratis. What about when, when you when you say when you saw in the in a movie? In a movie, uh, another yeah, the announcement, or, yes, no. the announcement wow. that you that you see in the movie, that those are very expensive as well. Oh, only only to appear uh, at the beginning of the movie in the in the movie theater, it's very expensive, really expensive. So okay, <laughs> so okay, let's go and discuss uh, with everybody. Let's see. Okay, thank you for being back. Who was the secretary of your group? ¿Quién era el encargado de las notas del grupo 1? Me teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> and from group well, number 2. Uh, for the group number 2, we discuss a little for the for the letter no, and Manuel, we are... We are number we, one. <laughs> you are number one. Yes. What did you discuss? Yeah. What did you discuss? Uh, in, the, in, the, in the first... Uh, the first step to get a consultant uh -huh. for, the, for this business. Uh -huh. The second, make a business plan. Okay. Uh, to, to get a consultant, the, then to make a business plan. Uh, besides, to create a policy uh, for a good advertising, in also uh, these channels are in the social network because okay uh, for common channel uh, they don't have uh, enough uh, market. Projection. Okay, good. So they have to get a consultant, a business plan, and for sure to place the the yeah. the local a good uh, advertisement. Okay, to place good advertisement. Very good. What about group number two? What was your uh, what is your opinion about this? Who is the one in charge of sharing? Quien es nuestro encargado del grupo dos. 
I have Claudia, Jose, Miguel, Omar, Rocío, Silvia, Tatiana. ¿Quién tomó notas? Todos, teacher, todos. Ajá. Um, well, <laughs> Go ahead, Rocío. I did some... Okay, um, one of the ideas uh, was that he could pay for a co consultant. Consultant, or uh -huh. he can talk consultant, and or he can talk with another um, competitors, mm -hmm. and to get the experience that they have, and to know how is the the market, uh, market work, the, works. Market, market. Yeah. The target and market. To, uh, uh -huh. No, that's another idea. Ah, okay, <laughs> that's okay. another idea to get the correct target. Yeah, it's more. This idea is more like to know better the the um how how are the the sales about the of the books and in this uh, local or country. Okay. <laughs> and and another idea is to get the correct uh, target market okay and good. also i say i said that he can start his business in a gradual way you know to to have a, a short merchandise okay and then he can uh, buy more books and sell more to her his clients man be we grow, 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 grow. growing, growing, <laughs> growing gradually. Teacher, yes, exactly. to be growing, growing gradually. gradually. Good. I have, growing a little, gradually. I have a little opinion. Yes. Actually, actually, the libraries. Uh, I know it's a, it's a. This is a, a an example, but actually, the the physical library. Uh, this is. Uh, for me, this is a, not a not a good business. Well, yeah, it's at least in book. countries in, in countries who love reading, it's a very good business. But in countries who uh -huh. are not very interested into reading, it's a mm -hmm. challenging way to do it. Well, but we're going to discuss a little bit more on this tomorrow, my dear class. Have a beautiful night. Keep on studying. Tomorrow we are going to deal with unit number three, straight to the warehouse, okay? So now we mm -hmm. deal with the products, the logistics, everything. So we're going to go to the warehouse. Have a beautiful night. I'm going to stay night with Mr. Time. Miguel for a couple of minutes and I will see you tomorrow for the next class. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, teacher. Take care, bye-bye. Good night, bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow, bye-bye. Hello, Miguel Angel. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How hey. are you? Oh, hey, yeah. yesterday was your one-on-one -on -one and you and you left. <laughs> uh, me siento bien cansado. Uh, I uh, imagine. De mi parte, uh, I don't have any questions, teacher. Uh, uh, but uh, in general, well, I, I really like to take advantage of this couple of minutes that we get together for you to tell me uh, in general, how do you feel in classes? How do you feel that we have been working during these days? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en estos días? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en las clases? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en el avance que lleva? Y, and for sure, the most important part of this little meeting is uh, for me to know if I can help you in specific things, the specific things that you want to develop on the language. In my case, uh, uh, I think you are very clear uh, with your explanation. Thank you very much. I'm not a problem. You don't have you don't have problems with the class, so you have you have uh, how how have you felt? ¿Cómo se uh, very nice. Uh, uh, in, in personal, uh, in the bar, 
bad health. Uh, yeah, right now it's not like the best moment of health for anybody. Uh, yes, uh, uh, como tuve conjuntivitis, ¿verdad? Sí, yeah, sí. yeah, sí, sí, al principio yo supe que estuvo bastante malo. Sí, las gotas que me dieron en el seguro me cayeron mal, tuve que ir donde un médico particular, y él me resuelto otras gotas, entonces he estado así como que quiero pasar el tiempo que, que, que vengo, yo sé que tengo que conectarme, pero que también me siento muy cansado de la rutina del trabajo. I imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I try to do, I try to do this like moment a little bit interactive for you to speak, participate in everything. Eh, siempre ando buscando como la manera de hacerlo más, más interactivo, más dinámico, un poquito más de moverse, de platicar, de hacer, de discutir, para que no sientan como muy pesado el tiempo. Sé que es este complicado a veces para muchos. Pero en casos específicos del idioma, Miguel, eh, ¿qué es algo que usted cree que necesita mejorar o en qué aspectos cree que le puedo eh, colaborar para que usted mejore? Eh, in my case, eh, yo, eh, no problem en eh, eh, your modality. Eh, And in, in for you, what about you? ¿Qué, en, ¿En qué cosa específica cree usted que necesita más ayuda? Ya sea en lectura, en, en fluency, en pronunciation, en listening, en reading. En pronunciation y... En su aprending en the very fast. Ok, so... Uh, pronunciation and when you are pronouncing very fast, so we need to work. Do you like reading, Mr. Miguel? Do you like reading? La uh, lectura, do you like it? Uh, small. A, a little, you say, a little. What about the listening? What or, or what strategies do you do in order to practice your English? ¿Qué está haciendo ahorita para practicar o mejorar su idioma? Uh, practice the dictionary mm -hmm. in my work uh, in, in my in computer in my work uh, uh, practicing uh, dictionary English Spanish okay um, do you have me ocurre algo, <laughs> No, that, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, either way, I mean, if you are improving and if you are learning, that's correct. And do you have the chance to watch videos or things on YouTube or Netflix or series or something like that? I know videos uh, uh, for, for time in my work. Uh, uh, um dealer ah yeah so you don't have time to watch videos right what about music do you like to listen to music uh, do, you, do you like to listen to music i have application in my cell phone uh, traductor uh, in, in the in the song in english Hey, that's a very good thing, right? That's a very good thing. So I that, I wanted to get to that. If you have the opportunity to have this uh, translator from English to Spanish, try to listen to the song, try to repeat, try to analyze, right? I recommend you to use these all English songs, right? That were very clear. So try to listen to the song, try to analyze, try to repeat, and try to imitate the uh, the singer, right? At the moment of singing the songs, this is going to help you to improve your listening and pronunciation as well. So because the idea that you want to improve your English with your pronunciation and everything, that can help you a lot, okay? In the morning, I am going to share some videos on the group, okay? Le voy a enviar unos videos al grupo donde pueden hacer práctica de speaking. So that can be very helpful for you. Okay, Mr. Miguel, have a beautiful night.
rest a lot and um, sleep well. I am going to see you tomorrow in class. Okay, thank you for these minutes that you gave me. Gracias por este ratito que compartimos en el one on one. Así que eh, voy a hacer lo mejor posible para colaborarle con lo que necesita. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Have a beautiful night and keep on practicing. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Miguel. Take care. Bye. Okay.